Okay, we are gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna wait until 12.08 to check for the online platform, the virtual platform. If no one's there, I'm cutting it off. Um, and then we'll just deal, it. yes, please, yay, more stickers. If you do not have a name tag, if you'll please take one and write just your name and company, and please wear it. If you already have a company name tag, that's fine. You don't also need our stickers. And we are going to start just with introductions this morning because every chamber event is a networking event, right? Even a training. And so I just want to sh have you share your name and company name, and that's it. No expansion, just because we don't have time. You know I'd love for you to share more, but we don't have time. So Suzanne, your name and your company name. Suzanne Van Remax on Properties and Chamber of Commerce. Yes, mm -hmm. yay. Ford. <laughs> Not Ford. <laughs> uh, Andrew Day, Daylight Films, also a member of the Chamber Board. Awesome. Rob Clausen, Desert Wealth Management, now with office in Fountain Hills and Idaho. Uh, Isabel Clausen with Desert Wealth Management. Awesome. Having a close way home, current yes. lifestyle real estate. Yes. Parker Ritchie, he does in Chef Advisor, specializing in under 65 health plans and Medicare. <laughs> no expansion. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. I'm just teasing you. Lisa. Lisa Fountain Hills, City, and Tom Arizona. Mike Navanitis, Edward Jones. Debbie Romano, Fountain Hill South and Harpies, also ambassador of the Chamber of Commerce. Sue Harrell, Greener, Still. Lauren Stratton, Blanchard, and Lisa Dostock, and Chamber of Commerce. Christine Holly, Sister Cities, and also Chamber of Commerce. This could be a board meeting. We almost have a quorum. <laughs> Shawna Fountain Hills Unified School District PTO, parent teacher organization. Carol Carroll, uh, sister cities, and uh, other miscellaneous things from. <laughs> Jelaine Goldapper, Fountain Hills, parent teacher organization. Uh, Carol Wynkowski, Go Genius, saving people money on their bills. Judy Yates, Art on the Avenue. Cynthia De Silva, Pinnacle Peak Hypnosis. Diana's dad, I hope I have this Sherry Koss, uh, River Time Museum Director and Board of Chamber Board Member. <laughs> Merle Wright, Office Manager for Dog Bear Tax and Accounting. Great, and Ellie? Oh, Ellie Mack, he is that I call it as well. Awesome. Thank you all for being here. That's fantastic. And we have a sponsor for today, and that is Sips. And Sips is a coffee and eatery. And I believe they'll be serving. Hi, come on in. Nice to see you, Chris. <clears throat> Let me grab them real quick. <sighs> Sips. Yeah. Chris, I'm going to come introduce you. And then if you guys want to serve coffee, that'd be great. And so, I know, so this is Chris Heath, he is the owner of Sips Coffee and Eatery here in Fountain Hills. It was so fun because when I went in to see Chris, we realized that we not only went to high school together, but grade school here in Fountain Hills. So, long time Fountain Hills people, we just love that you sponsored our event today, thank you, and I want you to share with everyone all about Sips. Yeah, all right. Um, who's been to Sips so far? <laughs> Who had a great experience? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's the whole point of the place, right? Um, what I want to do is create a place that um, people don't need to leave town to enjoy food, drink, um, hang out with their friends, relax, have a business meeting. Um, any realtors in the room? Any people that do business out of their house? They're looking for a place to go hang out on their computer, or meet with clients or something like that? Um, that's what we want place where people can go and relax, get some business done, um, have some refreshments, make a connection with somebody else, whether it's over the phone or text or email or face-to-face -face or somebody new. Um, that's, that's the environment we're trying to create there. And I've been to a lot of those places, um, traveling sales guy for 25 years. And um, when I moved back to Fountain Hills, I just felt it was something that um, I missed. You know, 
I didn't want to have to go to Tempe or Scottsdale or you know Cape Creek or Carefree. I wanted people to have that experience in Fountain Hills. Cool. And um, we've approached 10,000 transactions since we opened up in November. It's amazing. It is amazing. The community's <laughs> welcomed us. Um, we have a lot of regulars. Um, we have a lot of people that have given us some great advice. I think we can do better. Things that they like, things they like us to expand and um, do differently. Uh, that's the really cool thing I like about this town is there's some very accomplished people with all sorts of different backgrounds and histories. And they're all willing to share that with us. Um, we have some amazing culinary chefs that come in, people that own delis that service 10,000 people a week in New York. Uh, we have a customer that told us what temperature to serve cream cheese at. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, he also gave us about eight pages of other notes out there. <laughs> but, you feel comfortable um, sharing the expansion? Yeah, so, so where I'm going with this is um, we really can't do what we want to do in the space room right now. So we're, um, we signed a five-year lease in the place next door. We're going to knock the wall down between the two locations. Yeah. We currently have 1,200 square feet. I know, so exciting, yes. It's awesome. um, well, it's all the customers, right? We just had this discussion with the employees the other day. Um, I, I love the interaction. I didn't expect this that we have with the employees, the coaching, the mentoring, um, the culture we're creating the respect that our customers give our employees. Um, you know, there are a lot of young people that work there. This is their first, second, third jobs. They've had some bad experiences other places. And um, for them to come in and have a really good interaction with maybe a generation or a group of people that they may not normally interact with, and they get to know them, and they know intimate details about them, and the customers share with them, and they open up, and the employees open up. Um, it is great to have that as a young person. So um, we encourage our customers to, you know, have that same respect that we have for them, for our employees. And um, we have a lot of really happy employees that work there. So what we're trying to work on next door is still taking the same SIPs theme, but expanding it in a way that we now have a full menu. We're open 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. on a Friday and Saturday night. Um, a place where you can go and have maybe um, some pretzel bites and uh, like a cheese, beer cheese, and a little pizza, and maybe an appetizer, some pork, pork sliders, or something like that. Um, a couple beers, a glass of wine, and um, some good music, right? A family friendly bar and grill is the best way to go. <laughs> well, and thank you for sponsoring. And um, so, will you guys be bringing out what? Do you want to tell them what they're going to be drinking today? Yeah. So this is a high altitude, um, fair trade, organic wild berry tea. So there's some hibiscus, raspberries, things like that. Um, everything we do is is really important to us. That it's fair trade and organic. There's different regulations when you go into other countries. So. Basically, that just means that children didn't pick these berries and um, make these teas, and they have the same laws that we have in the United States for child labor. So that's important, and the same with the coffee as well. So, um, so that's a wild berry hibiscus high altitude tea. This is a yeah. So I have regular coffee. Which is going to be Rwanda and Colombian mix, and a decaf, which is um, roasted locally here in town from a local roaster named Axton, or his name Christian, which company's Axton. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, locally roasted coffee, probably the freshest cup of coffee you'll have in this town ever. Is there a lot of sugar in the tea? No, that's a, that doesn't have any sugar at all. Great. Yeah. It does have a little bit of sweet flavor to it. Um, we also, not today, but we also have energy drinks that are really popular as well. I don't know if you guys have ever gone by Dutch Brothers. Come on seen in. the giant line? Yeah. Any kids that are addicted and go there every day? We have something very similar. Um, the difference in ours is we, we do use real sugar for the mm. um, There's B vitamins. There's no chemicals. Uh, kind of like a Red Bull, but... I want to say healthy, but about as healthy as you can get. 
We mix it with club soda and the teas um, or with the syrups, and you're talking 80 to 100 calories versus a Dutch burger would be 5 to 600 calories. So that's really important to me. I have a kid in high school, so is Stacy. Um, child obesity is huge, so someone in theory could come once or twice a week, every day of their life, and you know, not gain 30, 40 pounds by the time they graduate high school. So um, having that healthy alternative, you know, not everybody wants it, but you know, being able to have a 20 to 80 calorie drink versus something that, you know, some of our competitors have drinks for 1,000, 1,200 calories, mm -hmm. right? right. So um, I don't know how important that is to the kids. They don't really care, but they like it, they drink it. The parents care. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes. And you don't need to leave town. Yeah. Do you have gift cards available? Yeah, we have gift cards. Um, we just bought quite a few actually for the, we have a couple customers that buy them as thank you cards. Okay. Um, you know, they're reloadable. We have a loyalty program as well. Um, but anyways, no, this is this is not about me talking about SIFs. This is I'd really love to get anybody's feedback. If they want to come in and talk to me, give me some ideas. Um, we take that, that very seriously. But if we're on the right track, um, let us know if there's something we're really doing wrong. You guys gotta tell us now because we start construction. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Chris. Give him a huge round of applause. Thank you. Are you hiring kids? Because I got one of these jobs. <laughs> I have a kid leave like every two days, so yeah. <laughs> On a serious note, every single business in Fountain Hills is hiring right now. Literally. Our chamber members have voiced that to us. They are really, really struggling with staffing. So if any of you, any of you have a child or young adult or you need another job, every single business in town is hiring. Send them to SIPs first. But as our sponsor, send them to SIPs first. Any other questions? two hands, I thought. Uh, right next to Anytime Fitness, across from Walgreens, the intersection of um, Avenue of Fountains and Palisades. Old yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know I approved. Yeah. Hours. Are you going to be open till four? Seven till three are our hours right now. And we did that um, for spring break because we had some kids. We took them away. And mm -hmm. if by doing seven to three, we can do one shift. And we're open seven days a week. And we thought that was important because we were only open six days. And if you drink coffee, you don't just drink it six days a week. Right? I just have tiny feedback yeah. on that, though. So, so, I, so I have a daughter who goes, who does sports at school. And a lot of times they'll walk up to you until practice. But if you're closing at three, they can't do that anymore. Yeah, so um, we'll be open till six, probably, starting in about okay. two weeks. Oh, good. So okay. yeah. once we hire your daughter. <laughs> Then sooner. <laughs> my, my only recommendation, I haven't been there, I actually have a meeting set up tomorrow morning at 8.30 there with the client, but um, my only recommendation for you is what do what you're doing right now is getting involved in the community, which you're obviously doing with Chamber, but connecting with the high school. We, um, and, and you know how Senior Taco did like the high school menu? Because, mm -hmm. you know, they, they can walk down, like she's saying right now, on lunch and if you do like a little high school menu just for them it'll yep. attract them and, and it's a better price point with their small budgets right so yeah what absolutely and what i would like to say is SIPS has been awesome and been a huge supporter of the PTO already since they've opened their doors awesome. um, they made donations for our halo which we have right. an amazing turnout and then we're purchasing 160 gift cards from them for um, it's a secret teacher appreciation <laughs> in our role. But, um, <laughs> in our little case. So we appreciate everything Chris and Stacey are doing. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, I know you guys are all part of the chamber. We do things for local businesses where we'll pick up business and we'll bring bricks and cheese and stuff like that. Um, so if you have anything that you want us to do, where you know, we have some employees, we'll just bring them out and just call them ahead of time and bring in a bunch of lattes and chocolate teas. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and we did have just a few more people sneak in. Um, just your name and business. If you've not already introduced yourself, your name and company. My name is Chris Weaver and I work at Weekly Casino Resort. Yay, Chris. Another Chris. Chris Gray with the Farm Bureau Financial Services. 
Yes. Awesome. Lady Martin, the Young Mortgage. Awesome. Scott? Scott Holden with Ever Jones. Anyone else? Did I miss anyone else? And Gary or Sam? Where were we? Gary. Sam? Yeah, no, Sam Merrill, Greener Still, formerly known as Sundown Park. Perfect. I think that's everyone. What a great group. Well, I just welcome you. And so we, this will be filmed. So if you don't have notes, or if you're sitting in an area where you can't take notes, it will be on our YouTube channel. Did you know the Chamber of Commerce had a YouTube channel? We have a YouTube channel. And you can check it out in about a week after he's done editing it if there's anything that you want to refer back to. We're also holding this program again in June. And so come on in, Chris. Um, More coffee. <laughs> and so if you want to come back to the brew with Betsy in June, over here, Bob wants some coffee. Yep, and I'm on time. What's the temperature of the cream? What temperature do you want? So I am starting out on our website. How many of you have been to our Fountain Hills Chamber website? Awesome. Okay, great. So a, a few things I just want to point out only because these are questions we get over the phone all the time. I just want to show you where they are. The top three things that we as a chamber are focusing on are always on this slider. Uh, literally, we'll have someone say, how do I vote for Gala? It's front and center on the main page. Um, but we welcome your calls. But I just want you to know that the, what we're focused on immediate is on the slider always. And then we have our visitor center information, the chamber blog. The chamber blog, uh, we update all the time. We talked about the River of Time that's coming up. We're so excited about their renovation plans. And one thing I want to point out because it's a fluid document that we update is this business resource packet. It's under the chamber blog. If you go here, if there's anything that you need for landlord assistance, for grant information, um, anything, utility assistance, everything you need is here in this document with links that'll bring you directly to those utilities, directly to the government programs that will help with grants or anything COVID related for relief and for help for you and your business. So just know that's there. The grant information is on page 22. There is a table of contents. So if you don't wanna search through all 39 pages that we as a staff put together for you, just look at the table of contents and you can jump right there. That, so check out the Chamber blog if you wanna know what's happening. It's always updated. We do have our PR video right under that that was put together by Daylight Films. Andrew Day put that together for us. I absolutely love it. I talk about our PR video all the time. If you've not yet watched it, it's right there on our website. It's also on our YouTube channel. Does the Chamber of Commerce have a YouTube channel? <laughs> yes, we have a whole 44 subscribers. So maybe with the rest of you, we'll get up to 80. So we're excited about that. And then we have our premier partners featured on our website, on the homepage with a clickable link. And so just some navigation right on our website. What we're gonna talk about today is everything you get as a chamber member and how you can maximize your benefits. Did you know that you get 31 chamber benefits as a chamber member? Most chamber members are using two of those 31 benefits. So preach into the choir because you are all here. I would love to share with you that the business directory when I got started here at the chamber just over two years ago was visited three to 5,000 times per month. Our um, business directory and our events page now each get 13 to 15,000 hits per month. It's the most widely visited spot for a business search. So for you as a chamber member, if you want to get noticed on our business directory, you wanna make sure that you've built out your profile, which I'm gonna teach you how to do today. Who can I pick on in here that's built out their profile? Built out their profile, every, every hand goes back down. <laughs> I know. So I'm gonna pick on Scott Holman. <laughs> Scott, you did, yay, good for you. Okay, so this is what a built out profile looks like. So the built out profile, can y'all see? It has photos, it has videos, it has information about him, and it has his hours, it's built out. It even has a mapped link 
to his location. If you were to go and you were to look under the business directory and you were gonna look for a financial advisor, would you go to this profile or another profile for finances that has no pictures, no videos, no information, just a phone number? For a resident who are, who's looking on our business directory, you will go to him, right, When you? So I want all of you to build out your profile, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. That's the main thing I'm gonna teach you, because like I said, that's our most widely visited page. The business directory map, it, you will only show up on the business directory map if you okay it on your profile. So again, I will show you how to do that. If you're a stay-at-home business or you're working out of your home, you are, as a chamber member, can use our chamber address as your mapped pin location so that you'll still show up on the business directory map. But please just make sure that we don't start getting your mail because that's happened. So just make sure that's not your mailing address, that it's only your mapped pin location. And then I'll show you some other things as we dive in. The main uh, first place you start is you start at the Fountain Hills Chamber site. FountainHillsChamber.com gets you there. FHChamber.com gets you there. Both of them go to the same place. You're going to go right there, member login. Upper right hand corner, bright blue, member login. You click on that. When you click on that, it'll bring you to this. So when you uh, go to the member login, you will have your unique login credentials. Have you not ever created one? That's quite possible. So there's an opportunity for you to say, forgot my login or create my login right here. And you just press that and we can help you create that. I did not warn Karen at reception below, but if you don't have your login created, you can ask Karen real quick to create one for you. I will apologize later. Um, and, and then she can create it for you so that you can right away log in. Once you log in, this is your MIC. MIC stands for Member Information Center. This is your portal to your chamber profile for the business directory, for the newsletter, for events, for everything that you do. And so once you log in, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the left side here and you're gonna fill in your personal information. Obviously, this is mine. I don't own a business. I, this is not built out, but I can show you as an example. And I might pick on somebody else in here as an example who has had it filled out. So you want to make sure that you recognize that this is your personal profile first. So when it asks for social networks right here, that's your personal social network. Personally, I think the only one that makes sense for you to put into your business directory for a chamber under your personal profile is LinkedIn. All the other ones should be your company Facebook, your company Instagram, and that'll go under your company information, not your personal uh, profile. Does that make sense? Okay, and when you are back here to, we're on the personal information, you will want to put in your personal bio here, not your company, this is your personal bio. People want to know, especially Fountain Hills with our demographic, they want to know the person behind the company. They don't want to know just the about us for the company. They want to know about the people within the company. So I recommend that you fill that out. And it's very easy with all the widgets. You can make it bold, italic, underline. You can really create it to make it your own. For everything that you do, make sure to press save changes or all that hard work will go away. If you wanna change your username and password, you could do so here. If you wanna add your photo, you could do so here. That again is your personal photo because you're under your personal profile. You'll have an opportunity to add your company logo later. Okay, so this is your personal photo. Everyone should have a personal photo in there. I don't care if you hate getting your photo taken. Everyone should have their personal photo in there. And we have great chamber members that we can refer to you for photos. And for your groups and interests, that's to make sure that you're subscribed to our newsletter. If you wanna be a part of our Fountain Hills Young community, you can subscribe here. If you wanna be a part of another committee, you can subscribe here. Your social networks I shared. This one is important, display preferences. Because this is under your personal profile, you want to share what your preferences are for your personal information. Do you want the public to have your job title? Do you want only members to have your cell phone number? You get to say who has what information and it's under display preferences. So make sure you check that out um, as you are building that. Now we go to company. 
So again, on the left side, under account settings, we went through everyone within personal. Now under company, you are going to go through and do your company profile. What's great about this is that you can go through every single area or category and it'll tell you how complete you are. So if you, it, it, this will tell you if your business profile is built out or not. You can click right on that update to update it if you want to, very user friendly. Or it's also broken up on the left side here. I'm gonna go through the left side. They will lead you to the same place, okay? So your organization information. This is all about your company. And you wanna make sure to add how many employees you have, full-time and part-time, include yourself. So if it's just you, I'm sure you're full-time if it's just you. You have one full-time employee, and that is you. And make sure to input that information in. And then your employees. You'll wanna add all of your employees and your representatives for your company. So if it's just you and you're just a, a sole proprietor, not just, you're a sole proprietor and that's, it's, it's you as the entity, but maybe you have a spouse or a significant other or a child who's helping you with the social media part of your business. They're not necessarily an employee, but they're supporting your business in that way. You can add them as a representative on your chamber profile to support this social media. Okay, so just know it doesn't have to be a W-2 employee for you to add them to the, as a representative for your chamber profile. This is your chamber profile. So if you're a nonprofit, we have many nonprofits in this room. If you're a nonprofit, you probably have five, six, seven people who could all be representatives for your chamber profile. The more representatives you have for your company, the better. You have more people who are gonna be updating information, adding new events, adding hot deals, adding member to member deals, adding newsletter sub uh, submissions, and the more hands you have in it, we have found the more successful you'll be because it will get updated. And as you saw, the updated profiles get visited more often. Your website information. You'll wanna make sure that you include your company website information, and then this is where you include your company's social network, okay? So the other one was your personal. This is your company's Facebook page, your company's Instagram, and make sure that's updated on there. And your description for your company. You wanna make sure it's really built out. If you're a copper nonprofit, a copper or nonprofit member, you get 200 characters to describe your business. If you are a bronze or above membership level, then you get 1,600 characters to describe your business. And so just know that as you're, as you're inputting it in there. Four categories, um, these are the available categories. This is something that we'll do in-house, but if you feel like the category you're listed under, under the business directory does not reflect your business as you want it to, let us know so we can make sure to change that, that category for you. And then this part right here, it's under additional information. You might have put in all of your social media networks, but you have to say yes display them or they won't be displayed. So that's just another, just make sure that's clicked yes or no. And then your logo, you want to make sure that your in the member information center. If you attended our June our March breakfast, then uh, we had name tags for you. And most all the name tags had a logo. And the ones who did not have a logo, guess what? They didn't have one uploaded in the system and so they didn't get one on their name tag. So make sure your logo is updated. Your photos, if you are a bronze member or above, you're allowed to create a gallery of photos. And that means you can do as many photos as you want about your company and for your company. So I would recommend that you do that. And the same thing for video. The videos do need to, it's only supported through YouTube uh, for some reason but the platform will support YouTube videos. So if you have videos for your company uploaded to YouTube, go ahead, Chris. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> then you'll wanna make sure to include those here. If you need a great PR video like we did, Daylight Films over there is our number one recommendation. Um, and then map pin information. Remember when I shared with you, if you didn't say okay 
for the map pin, you won't show up. This is the area under company, under map pin information. And you can verify that the pinned location is correct. Also, a lot of you do a really great job of saying proud member of the Chamber of Commerce or nominated for the Chamber Gala on your newsletters, on your emails. Some of you even have it on your business cards. If you want that, it's here. If you want that logo, our logo, proud member of, it is here for you to access and for you to use. Um, billing, if you want to take care of your billing, please do. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, if you want to, if you're not sure if you need to make a payment or not, guess what? As soon as you log in, it'll tell you on the right side, right over here. $45,000 due to the chamber or whatever. So just um, you can take care of it right on your MIC, which is so nice. The hot deals. The hot deals are different from member deals because the hot deals are public. Member deals are member only. So hot deals, when you go to hot deal and you add a hot deal right here in the upper right hand corner, add hot deal. As you can see, we have A to Z reruns. We have Daylight Films. We have Roofs Arizona and we have Guardian Training. Yay to all of you guys for doing that. It's awesome. So the hot deals, when you add your hot deal here, it auto populates to our public website. When you add your hot deal here, it auto populates to our newsletter that goes out every week. Our newsletter goes out to 6,000 local subscribers. So if I were you and I were a company that was growing and building here in Fountain Hills, I would have a new and unique hot deal monthly, maybe, whatever fits for your company. Um, you want to make sure that it's fresh and different so people continue to look at it and you want to make sure that you continue to do it because you know how people are repetitively. So hot deals are public, populates to our website, populates to our newsletter. Member to member deals. Perhaps you want to offer something a little bit extra for just the chamber membership. Then you can go to member to member deals. And we have Ally Spine Center and Casey Gaskins um, on here. And so that's great. They have deals that are just for members and it's not going on the website. It is not going in the newsletter. So just so you're real clear where it is. News releases, that is if you have something you want to share and submit to us to put into our chamber newsletter, but it's not a hot deal. So sometimes you have maybe somebody within your company won an award that's very newsletter worthy or something that's exciting that you really feel like it's news that you want everyone to know about, but it's not a special, it's not a promotion. That's where you put that in is just add a news release and it'll be posted to our newsletter and our public website. I've had so many companies lately share with me that they need staff. We have a public job posting site on our website. If you need to hire staff, you could do so right here. You just go to add job posting, you describe what you're looking for, it'll be added to our public website. Encourage you to use that. Most of these features are new, and so that's why you'll see they just have a few submissions so far because these are new features. Scott. I've used it, it works, that's how I hired my most recent assistant. Shush, that's awesome, yay, that's great. Yes. So as a 501c3, obviously we're a 100% volunteer board, but if we're out looking for new members, yes. which we kind of do every year, we can post a job <coughs> yeah. it's not a Yes, Jelaine, job, you can. But yep. it would be a 100% volunteer Absolutely. Uh, the NPOA actually just did a volunteer job posting and it's no longer on there, so I'm assuming they got it filled. So yes, absolutely. And because if this is a new feature, to get a result like that already is so such great feedback. Thank you, Scott, because I know that more and more people who know about it, it's just going to get that much better. And the social feed. So how many of you in here are on Facebook? And how many of you in here don't necessarily like the negative aspects of Facebook? <laughs> okay, so right here, this is our internal positive happy Facebook at the chamber. So this is our social feed. It's in the MIC. If you log into the member information center, you will see updated information that is just in the, in the same vein as Facebook in that it doesn't have to be newsletter worthy. It doesn't have to be a hot deal. It could be whatever. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It could be a picture of whatever. Please still 
don't add, you know, pictures of your dog unless you're a pet groomer or <laughs> pictures of your kid unless you're a child care center. Still business focused, right? And still makes sense for this membership, but it doesn't have to be specifically a promotion or newsletter type submission. Because the not, yes, would Diane. That be a, would that be a place I could put looking for volunteers? So I would do the job posting for the looking for volunteers. You could also do here, do both. I would absolutely do both. The great thing is whenever you do an update within your MIC, that update does populate within the social feed. It just doesn't clearly state it. It just says Diana Stagg from Hope for Homes did an update and it doesn't say exactly what you did. So I would do both places for sure. You're welcome. And what's really great about this too, with our nonprofit and our copper memberships, they don't get photos and videos with their business directory, but you still have that opportunity here in the social feed. You can add photos. Bob Murphy, look at you, Roofs, Arizona. You can add photos and videos right here in this, this part of the social feed if your membership doesn't come with it. So you still really do have that opportunity just in a little bit different way. Scott. Is it posted anywhere else, or is it just in the ethos of the... So if you've not unsubscribed from our emails, okay. you should also get it on email. Okay. So I uh, give you that caveat because um, our unsubscriber list has been a little bit problematic lately that we're working on. So if you in here have unsubscribed from our emails, <laughs> I kindly request that you accept our emails. Um, we are working on also sending less emails. So if you're annoyed by the amount of emails that we sent, we hear you and we are working on that. Um, any other questions before I move on? Okay, so newsletter submission too, it, this is what it looks like. So if you have something to submit to our newsletter, you can add a file, you can add a PDF, you can add an image, you can add your website, and you can add all the information and it's a form that's super easy that you just fill out and it'll be included. The next one is, <clears throat> do you know that we do a podcast every other Friday? Paige Lawrenson, she's not here today for me to give her kudos. Um, she's homesick. But Paige Lawrenson started Fountaincast, the first original podcast series in Fountain Hills. We are up to almost our 40th episode, and you as chamber members can participate as a guest in Fountaincast, and we would love for you to do so. A couple of little caveats about that is nobody wants to listen to a commercial about your business for 20 minutes. So my suggestion is have a really great content, story, entertaining story that goes along that will also still share your company. So it'll still be great branding, but it's story driven, entertainment driven. So people will listen all the way through to the end. Right, so that's my suggestion. And if you want to request to participate in the podcast, you just fill out this form. Paige will be uh, informed that you'd like to participate and we'll reach out to you to schedule it. <clears throat> we found that for the audio, uh, for the sound and the audio for the podcast, that she actually has better connection if you're remote, believe it or not. Um, we have uh, microphones and she's tried to do it in her office but with the noise that comes in it's better if she does it remote so it's really easy for you to be on the podcast because she'll schedule it with you and you'll do it remote Question. yes how many listeners do you think are listening to that no idea <laughs> i don't know i really don't know i don't even know how to look up that metric Heather, so that's a, that's a good one. We need to figure out. So I know, because it's on so many different platforms, if you go to Spotify, Anchor, um, any of the different platforms, you'll find Fountaincast. So I know if we went to each one, we could find out how many listeners. But as a whole, as a program, I don't know. We have to, we have to look into that. I have to get right on that. <laughs> yes, Isabella. Podcast hosting. I'm sorry. Anchor. And then Chamber U. So Chamber U is Chamber University, and this was a robust program pre-COVID. Um, it's quite frankly not been reinstated since then, and we are looking to make it a whole different program for the next year. So it's still really in hiatus. What Chamber U is, is member-led education. So you as a chamber member, Heather told us, she would come and she would talk about the real estate market in Fountain Hills, how to get your home ready so it could sell fast and get the best price. But she's not selling 
Heather told us she's not selling her company, she's there to educate the people who attend. Really important that if you want to be a Chamber University teacher, it is completely and fully education without any sales, okay? So as we relaunch that program next year, and that's what it looks like, and we would love to have you. We are looking at creating a more robust program that includes for a startup company really providing the education and support to help them be successful and survive, and then having a secondary program for businesses who really already passed that startup phase but want to take it to another level. <clears throat> We're pseudo launching it with an industry stakeholder meeting May 14th. The industry stakeholder meeting is kind of our, our uh, segue into getting back into the chamber use. The industry stakeholder meeting for this first one is surrounding financial advisors, estate planners, mortgage people, and we have a really robust list of chamber members and non-chamber members that we're inviting. It came from Michael Pamelditis' partner, Michael Maroon, or friend, and um, Edward Jones as his idea to help all the local businesses rise up and stop the leakage to Scottsdale. Keeping business in Fountain Hills. That's what we're trying to do. So with that industry stakeholder meeting, we're bringing that group of, of people together to share how can we collaborate and not compete? How can we support each other to stop the leakage to Scottsdale? And that's what Chamber U is leading into. And we're gonna bring like industries together to really support and educate in that realm. So long story long, Chamber U is coming. <laughs> And if you'd like to participate, that's where you can do so. And then, excuse me, is that only for chamber members? So the industry stakeholder meetings are not. They are open to every business member in Fountain Hills for that first one. If they want to continue, they'll have to be a chamber member in order to continue with the education. Great question. And the industry, the first industry, you're receiving an a, a invitation in the mail, a paper invitation for that in the next 10 days. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. One more time. Yeah. 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 sure hot deals like 10 times. Yes. <laughs> yes, we need some sips hot deals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All you guys, thank you. And then for, um, a lot of you know that we do sponsorships, right? And I'm gonna talk about those briefly. This is education. I'm not selling you on chamber sponsorships. However, <laughs> no, it's just really for you to be informed and know what's available to you. And if you don't have one of these packets, feel free to take one and we have more in the back. All of this is online. So if you ever want to be a sponsor for any of our chamber events, then you can do so by going to our website. Going to our website, going over here to events, Sponsor an event. This entire media kit is under sponsor an event with all the information. So if you didn't get a packet right now, but you want to find it later, that's where it is. In many of your memberships, it's already included, already paid for, for you to sponsor an event. We do benefit tracking to make sure that you use all of your benefits. Um, but if you, as a, as a premier partner or platinum partner, you get one or two sponsorships built in, and you get to select which ones you'd like to sponsor. So for example, Gala. We have Gala coming up right around the corner, sponsored by Tola's Mortgage. Featured every time we mention the event, sponsored by Tola's Mortgage. Every time, that's what sponsorship looks like. It's your name, your logo, your branding attached to our event. And then we have other sponsorships available level two and level three sponsorships too. First Financial, Guardian, Legacy, Clayson Communications, and Legacy, again, he bought two tables. Whenever somebody wants to buy a table at an event, that's a sponsorship. So if you come to Gala and you want to all fit together and not have us just put whomever we want at your table, then you can sponsor a table and you get to select who sits at your table. But that's what that looks like, and it's all available on the website. Any questions about that? So you go to events, sponsor an event. If you specifically want to sponsor an event, and you don't want the whole media kit, you can go right to that event, 
had to hit a couple of buttons. I apologize about that. But you need to register for the event. And then you're going to be able to sponsor. You can register as a sponsor or you can just register as an attendee. Okay? So you're welcome to do that. You're also welcome to call us and we will support you and help you in that way. But the reason I'm sharing all of that with you about sponsorship is because you can also do most of all of this in your MIC. And it's really easy. And you just click on it and you can um, register and log in. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Also, our Chamber Chatter, that's our newsletter that comes out every single quarter. If you wanted to have an ad in that, you could do it here. If you wanted to request to be featured as a nonprofit of the month, which is a new program by the Chamber and Fountain View Village as a, as a joint partnership, if you'd like to request to be one of those nonprofits of the month, you do so here, right there. Request to be a nonprofit of the month. And it tells us more about you and uh, your needs and what you want to, to see moving forward. <coughs> Scheduling. If, as a chamber member, you have access to three boardrooms. This one, which will seat 14 to 16 around the boardroom table, or I think 32. Um, I think that's what we have in here today. Honestly, I think we could move the table over and probably get 40 to 60 chairs in here. So around the boardroom table, 14 to 17, on up to 40 or 60 classroom style. As a chamber member, this is available to you, the fountain boardroom, anytime you want, and you can schedule it right here. You can't see. Fountain boardroom. And you get to pick your dates and your times, and whatever shows up is available. So you don't have to have it confirmed. You want to schedule a class or a retreat or whatever, you can go on here and schedule that. We have had people recently join the chamber just to have the free meeting space um, throughout the year. And that is, we welcome that. That is great. So this is the fountain boardroom. The fountain boardroom also has its own patio right here, which has a beautiful view of the fountain. And so if you're doing a retreat and you want to stop for coffee, you can use the staff kitchen and use the patio, and this all built into your membership. We also have the Synergy and the Elite Boardroom. The Synergy Boardroom is directly below Scott Holman. Um, it's directly below, and it seats six to eight around a boardroom table. Every single meeting room is equipped with a TV for virtual or hybrid or for presentations. The Fountain Boardroom will seat approximately 12 to 30. And so you have three different opportunities. Every single boardroom has its own entrance and exit. So you can have people not come through the lobby if for some reason you want to do that. And so these are all features as a member that you have. Scott? What about alcohol? Like, yes. Could we sponsor like a wine tasting or something? As long as, as, you, as you don't you sell right it. As long as you don't sell it, it's included in our insurance. Okay. And um, depending on what your event is, you might have to add us as a co-insurer. Okay. And but yes, that's fine. Also start selling it? No, sir. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> then you have to get a town liquor license. Got gotcha. it. <laughs> and then I, we might have to charge you too, Scott. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the other part is besides the three boardrooms, we do have our six thousand square foot event patio. That is our Morgan Memorial Patio, sponsored by Desert Financial Credit Union. And so we're so excited to be able to offer that. That will not be included in the membership. It will be fee-based because we will have to staff it. We'll have to pay for cleaning, and it will, there, there will be fees attached to it. But that is also an opportunity for you. We will have a member price and a non-member price. So you can get a discount for being a member, but if you want to do a large event, you can. Yes. Are you going to put patio shade cover? Over that no. So we, in our original plan, we wanted to cover it until we got the quote that was over $140,000 to cover it because it's so large. So no, no shade for you. <laughs> but we do have lighting that you might see outside. They're putting lighting up and it's going to be gorgeous. And um, eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to have some shade structures coming in. Um, but not yet. And it's not in the immediate plan, unfortunately. But we also have umbrellas. So at all the tables, you can put umbrellas in. So you can create your own little mini shade bubbles. 
If you want to And if anyone would like to sponsor the shade. Yes. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you do half shade. Yes. Right. Great idea. Shade brought to you by Heather Tolis. <laughs> And then the other uh, two things, <laughs> the other two items you can schedule on here is your ribbon cutting. So if you're not a new business to the chamber, perhaps you've been with us for 10 years, but, and you don't feel like you wanna do a ribbon cutting, but it's your 10 year anniversary. Let's have a celebration, schedule a ribbon cutting, and we will do that. As a chamber member, bronze and above, then that is one of your benefits that you can do. And so we'd love to do that. Again, when you go to the scheduler, if it's available, it's available. You don't have to wonder, so you can pick right in there. And then also, you can schedule a meeting one-on-one -on -one with me. And so again, if it's available, it's not ever. <laughs> There are no appointments in April, and there's a few appointments coming up in May. But if you'd like an appointment with me, starting May 4th, you can get an appointment. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but if you'd like an appointment with me, you can schedule right on here. There are legitimately no appointments until then, but you know that I am open to hearing from you, so you can always email me, and I'll try to squeeze you in somewhere, because I'd love to. And that's all for scheduling and all available for you to do. And then for sponsorship, again, that was where you sponsor all of your events. One thing that I, any questions about the left side here? So we went through everything on the left side for your MIC. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you along the top in your MIC is your directory. As a chamber member, you have access to the entire membership directory. If you're doing your own marketing, not through the chamber, you have access to everyone with all their information. This is what they've decided to share with you based on their display preferences. So if they have their cell phone number and you call their cell phone number and they get mad at you for calling their cell phone number, Guess what, you might wanna update your display preferences because it was listed on the chamber site. But truly, you could do mass mailings this way, you could do emails, whatever you wanna do, and this is available to you. The events, Suzanne. Is that done through MailChimp or what is the? It's actually just our, that's within our chamber platform. So yeah, so it's just a database for you to have all that information, yes. Great question. And then events. How many of your businesses have events? <clears throat> Open houses, um, fundraisers, well, I don't know, what other events do you have? Uh, live music if you're a restaurant. International dinners. International dinners, sister cities. Um, anything that your company might do event-wise, you can add it to our events page. Where does it go if you add it to our events page? It goes on our public chamber site. Our events tab, 13 to 15,000 hits per month. Put your events on our calendar, truly. Great, great place. We also are partners with FHCCA, the ilovefountainhills.org, and on their community calendar, all of your events that you put on our calendar auto-populate to their calendar. So you're not only putting it on our calendar, because you put it on our calendar, it'll auto-populate to theirs. Bob. My confusion is, you see the banners that are displaying right now? Yes. Well, what's the difference between the hot deal section and that section right there? That is a great question. So the banner is a paid advertisement offering. So we sell the banner for $100 per month, or it's built into our chamber memberships. And those show up on our website under the business directory page is the banner that you'll see. And it's also under our events and it scrolls, right? For all the people who are participating. And then it's also under our events page. And so that has nothing to do with the hot deals. It's a total separate paid advertisement opportunity. Okay, and I'm glad that you brought that up because I can share with you the results that you get from the banner advertising because um, people like to know that. So you know that I'm in as me without a business and I have zero all the way next to me, right? So I am just going to, I'll pick on Karen Logan. How about that, right? That was your suggestion, wasn't it? Okay, so Guardian Training and Consulting, they've had a banner with us for probably longer than most on here. And so I'm just gonna log in as Guardian 
Don't tell Guardian. I'm logging in as them. So I'm going to log in as Karen Logan from Guardian Training and Consulting. I'm going to go to reports. They've had 13,000 total views and impressions in the last 12 months on our chamber site. 12,000 are because they had a banner. Huge, huge. Um, 64 member page views, people who specifically searched for Guardian and not through that uh, directory search. And they submitted hot deals and had 86 views of their hot deals. I don't know how many of these submitted and they haven't done a job posting. So if you wanna see what your stats are for your company, you just go right here to reports and it'll tell you in your MIC what, where your stats are. If yours looks like mine did, then we have some building out to do <laughs> on your profile, right? Okay, so then news that shows you everything that's available to you and it goes back to your profile. So that's everything on the left side, everything across the top in your MIC, your member information center. I'm almost out of time. I have to wrap up with, if you go back to our website um, and you go to member services, you have your member login there also. Did you know that the chamber offers to you free notary services? Many people don't realize that because you're a chamber member, you get free notary. Uh, it is fee-based if you're not a member, but because you're a member, that's free. And uh, there are opportunities for advertising and marketing. We also offer elite leads programs. We're up to four elite leads groups. The fourth group is the brand newest group. It has two whole people in it, Chris Gray and Savannah Lamy. That's our FHYC, our Fountain Hills Young Community Group. Brand new, newest group and growing, right? Um, so it'll, it'll grow quickly, I'm sure. You do need to be 50 years and younger to be in the FHYC group. The other three, I know, sorry. Um, the other three Elite Leads groups, they are really robust. The uh, Elite Leads three is also a very new group, but already has eight members. The Elite is Similar if you know BNI, it's a networking group. It's twice a month for one hour. Attendance is required. So really think about if you wanna be a part of that group or not before you commit, because attendance is required and it's industry specific. So there will not be another casino resort in your Elite Leads group. I don't think that would be hard, Chris, for us to put you in. <laughs> um, but there will not be any internal competition within your group and our elite leads uh, members in the chamber are the most successful most engaged chamber members that we have so i could not encourage you to get involved in the elite stronger it's truly truly great if you'd like to be a part of the fhyc the fountain hills young community then you can come and check that committee out uh, Tuesday, April 13th, is our next meeting at 4.30. It's at the Bistro at the Fountain View Village. Fountain View Village has a Bistro award-winning chef. It's on their patio. The ambassador meeting's at 4.30, FHYC meeting's at 4.30, mixer's at 5 p.m. If you want to know when all these events are, events calendar. You don't have to remember any of this. It's all in the events calendar. Okay. Questions about that? No. The last thing, the last couple things I want to share with you for member services. Did you know as a chamber member that you have an opportunity to participate in group health insurance? So a lot of group health insurance plans that are made for small companies require you to have at least 10 W-2 employees. And a lot of small companies don't have 10 W-2 employees. So we are excited that because we're a part of the EVCCA, the East Valley Chamber of Commerce Alliance, the Chambers of Commerce represent 6,000 businesses. As a collective that large, we're able to offer to you the Lifestyle Health Plan from Medova, and you just need two W-2 employees, and it could be you and your spouse as long as you're W-2'd. And it's 16 different health plans that is available to you. This is brand new for us as of July last year. Super excited about it. It's, only, it's a member only benefit. You have to be a chamber member in order to participate. And it beats all insurance plans, group plans by six to 8%. 
The information is here under member services, under insurance plans, and you email Tammy now, does that show up? You email Tammy now to find out which one of these two chamber member insurance brokers you should connect with because we're ensuring that it's very equitable and that each one gets the same amount of referrals. So that's the only reason we have you go through Tammy. Tammy does not know insurance. She's not gonna answer any insurance questions, but she'll refer you to those insurance brokers. We do have new insurance brokers in the, in the room today too, and once they're vetted, if you wanna be a part of this program, let us know because we're all about um, support and collaboration. So I definitely recommend checking into that. It's free to check into. It's free to see if it's a benefit for you to offer to your staff for you to offer to, I don't for your nonprofit representatives, I'm not sure if that would qualify or not. No one's w 2 probably not. Um, for you, to, even if it's just you and your spouse, then you might wanna check that out. And then COVID resources, there's another place where you can find that business resource packet. So, whew, I'm out of time. Any <laughs> questions that I can answer for you? Did you learn anything new today? And then if you want, so you could dive in, do some of these member benefits in the meantime. And if you want to revisit this, our next Brew with Betsy, sponsored by Pearl, is in June. It's going to be the last Tuesday of the month quarterly, the same quarter we do the breakfast. So it was, we had our breakfast in March. Brew with Betsy is the last Tuesday of that month. Our next breakfast is in June. The Brew with Betsy is gonna be the last Tuesday of June. Okay, just so you can kind of connect the dots there. Any questions? Any new member benefits you're gonna dive into and, and expand and grow upon? Okay, great. 29 more. 29 more. Good. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you.